Hello everyone and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. The Warthog A-10 has a 50-year history of saving ground troops with precise and overwhelming firepower. It is a close air support, or CAS fighter, built around its iconic seven-barreled Gatling-style GAU-8 Avenger cannon, which remains an accurate and highly potent weapon against many forms of heavy and light armor, and for a ground attack against tanks. It is slow and stable, and soldiers have associated safety and salvation with its piercing noise whenever it opens fire. With several fail-safes and redundancies built into its construction, the Warthog is one of the most structurally robust aircraft of its kind and is intended to continue flying even after receiving severe damage and punishment, reaching a point of safety. Despite rising maintenance costs as they age, they continue to be an important part of the U.S. Air Force fleets. This is because the A-10 is unmatched in carrying out its mission, provides an invaluable capability to protect American service members on the ground, and can still fly even with the damage. In fact, the Air Force has invested several million dollars in modernizing the electronic systems that keep various functions running efficiently. Before getting into the air, the aircraft is subjected to a pre-flight check routine that includes checking every part of the checklist, including the brakes, the rudders, and the digital systems of the plane. Afterward, the pilots will strap themselves into their seats, turn on the auxiliary power unit, and fire up the twin turbofan engines for takeoff. To demonstrate its precise and overwhelming firepower, the Air Force usually conducts gunnery training for its air crews. The A-10 can fire at an incredible rate of more than 3,500 RPM. This impressive gun power is utilized for strafe runs by firing the Gatlin gun at a comparatively close range. A typical training range is with targets that can consist of actual vehicles, or in this case, parachutes are used as targets. The air crew is then asked to hit these targets with the aircraft's mounted weapons by flying the aircraft close to the ground during the strafe runs. In fact, they can get creative with the target colors and use a color that resembles an enemy's tank to give the pilot a more realistic run. The A-10 is also equipped with a paveway bomb under its wing as part of its selection of precision-guided and unguided ammunition. Its single cockpit is equipped with a head-up display, which is used for targeting and weapon aiming during strafe runs. The 
There is also a secure radio communication system, night vision goggles for pilots, GPS navigation, and tactical air navigation systems. The cockpit is protected by all-around armor, a titanium bathtub structure that is up to 3.8 centimeters thick to protect the pilot. It has a large bulletproof bubble canopy that gives good all-around vision. Its enormous fuselage and cockpit can safely withstand heavy hits from explosives and projectiles due to its resilient airframe, making it a highly survivable and versatile aircraft. It only takes a few months to turn a young pilot into an A-10 pilot, but it involves a lot of work. Most pilots make their first flight in a new plane at the training base with an instructor on board. However, the A-10 does not have two seats in the cockpit, which is why the pilot is first introduced to a simulator. They fly in simulated environments and conditions that mirror the combat fields. Nice. During this practice, flight instructors can observe student pilots' reactions to several factors that can be critically important in the field. All right, put this right here on the end of the runway. The pilot usually gets a pre-flight briefing that entails administrative-type plans in case of emergencies or unplanned weather, as well as mission specifics and expectations. Afterward, the pilot performs a routine maintenance check on the fighter jet before takeoff to ensure it is ready to fly. The risk associated with attacking a target at a low altitude makes it important to train the pilot on basic survival skills. Survival is important in extreme weather conditions, in the hottest and coldest climates. Finding or building life-saving shelters, and even surviving an enemy's attack. Being able to start a fire is important for military survival. In addition to keeping them warm during the coldest of climates, they also use fire to signal for help, since a rescue team in the air can easily recognize fire alerts. Camouflage knowledge is essential for survival in hostile environments, to protect themselves from animals and potential enemies in the wilderness. These training sessions expose the pilots to survival kits, such as the Jump Master Knife, which can be used to saw tree limbs, hammer in nails, or hammer stakes into the ground whenever required. Windproof matches, a fire starter, and everything else that can be needed to survive for a long time in the case of an emergency are part of the survival toolkit. Depending on the mission and contingency plans, the A-10 Warthog is designed to land in less than ideal locations and conditions, where the best runways are not available. The A-10 has its engines mounted above the wings and is not susceptible to damage caused by runway debris, allowing it to land in austere environments such as an old airfield, a stretch of highway, or riverbeds. The capability to land on an unusual bit of terrain contributes to the goal of providing close air support. It also aids in refueling and rearming the aircraft so it can return to flight quickly. The impressive capabilities of this fighter have long been sustained due to the holistic nature of its maintenance. 
In particular, its engine is subjected to wear from vibration, friction, high interior temperatures, corrosion, and physical damage, and it takes some determined effort to ensure it remains functioning. Regular maintenance on these engines ensures all rotating parts are balanced and the vibration level is kept to a minimum, thereby improving the engine's durability and fuel efficiency. The maintenance of the turbine blades, bearings, and control systems on the engine is very important, and in some cases, a total overhaul might be necessary. This is when all the components associated with the engine are refurbished, which may take a great deal of time. With half a century in service already, a replacement for the A-10 is underway, and one of the potential options is the A-29. Originally designed by the Brazilian company Embraer, the A-29 is a versatile and powerful light-attack turboprop aircraft that can be utilized for close air support, as it is durable and rugged. It can perform operations from unimproved runways and at forward operating bases in austere environments or terrain. The United States version of these aircraft is painted gray, which can also be useful for border patrol and surveillance missions. It has state-of-the-art communications gear that teams with other aircraft and ground forces can operate as part of a networked environment. It can be equipped with 50 caliber machine guns, 250 and 500 pound laser guided bombs, and the AGR-20 Advanced Precision Kill Weapon System, which is a precision guided rocket. In addition to its combat roles, the aircraft is widely used as an advanced trainer. Its ability to upload and retrieve flight data, as well as mimic combat operations, has made it a highly effective training platform. In an age when budgets are stretched and value for money is a major imperative, the A-29 has a lower cost of operation and is incredibly easy to fly. Impressively, it is highly versatile, easily configurable on site, and provides a single platform with many applications. Before sending this fighter on a mission, the pilot usually performs their routine pre flight check which is the final opportunity to identify any potential problems. Standing at 3.9 meters tall, 11.38 meters long, and 11.2 meters wide, it has a takeoff distance of 550 meters. a maximum takeoff weight of 5,400 kilograms, and a landing distance of 860 meters. It has a combat radius of 300 nautical miles and can reach speeds of up to 367 miles per hour. This aircraft has impressive aerial maneuverability, especially at low levels, and has proven survivability, making it suitable for counterinsurgency operations. Its airframe is structurally superior, with a high level of safety integrity based on civil standards, and its canopy design has been tested and certified to resist bird strikes. It also offers pilots exceptional all-around visibility, which is essential while training or in real-time combat.
whether it is the old age A-10 or the potential next generation of attack aircraft like the A-29, it is sure that the United States Air Force has proven fighter jets will continue exercising its air superiority and dominance. That's the end of this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel, and we'll see you in our next video.